Welcome everybody to Quorum Country Lanes. We're way out east as the LIGBT kicks off its first event for a Suffolk County house shot tour. This is the first of nine events, all culminating with a big house shot championships on May 5th with a $2,000 top prize. Let's meet our final six. First up, Mr. Tony Jimenez from West Babylon. Tony has a 158 house shot average, getting 46 pins. Next to Tony is Archie Nabis from Queens Village. Archie has a 174 house shot average, getting 32 pins. Next up, Mr. Dave Soren from Long Beach, New York. Dave has a 151 house shot average, getting 53 pins. Next to him is Farrell McNeil from the Bronx. Farrell has a 170 house shot average, getting 36 pins. Next to him, Tommy Grunwald from a store in New York. Tommy has a 185 average, getting 22 pins. And last but not least, Mr. Juan Ayala, who has, is from Medford, New York, has a 157 house shot average, getting 47 pins. Okay, bowlers, shake hands, and let's get this match rolling. This was a house shot tournament, so the scores are going to be nice and high. We've got six finalists bowling for 1,000 first, 500 second, 300 third, 250 fourth, 200 fifth, and 156. So for sixth place. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of action. We hope you enjoy the finals. Up first on the left. Well, must be Mr. Tony Jimenez. He's got one title, looking for number two. He's last title, 2016, at Harold Lane. And here, here comes Tony. His first shot, going high, leaving the three-six. Tony, this is his first round in the finals. Was as the squad leader in the three o'clock squad with an 813. He got seated directly to the shootout. The other bowler that seated was Tommy Grunwall with a 774 at one o'clock to lead the score. And Juan gets 10 in the pit. Way to go, Juan. We should have a lot of 10 in the pits here. Juan has a new baby with Tiensis Brown. Congratulations, and Juan is also the house, the only house shot, the only house bowler, league bowler, that made the final six today. So, normally, especially on house shot tournaments, the league bowlers from the house usually do very well. Today, Juan is their representative. All right, here comes Farrell McNeil. Farrell shot 766 today at three o'clock to make it to the finals. Farrell, one of three seniors here in the final shootout. Oh, a nice shot for 10 in the pit for Farrell. Farrell looking good out there. Farrell's here because he was too late for the Great America and the Buzzy Goodman tournament. But Farrell's never on time. For, Farrell's going to be late for his own funeral. All right, here comes our lefty. Archie Nabis from Queens coming all the way up. Ten in the pit. Way to go, Arch. Arch, look at that colorful shirt. It's going to look great in HD. All right, Tommy Grunner. Without a doubt, the best bowler in this final match as far as ability. And he goes ten in the pit. Way to go, Tommy. Tommy is a winner of our super tournament. $5,000 top prize. He won that over at Farmingdale Lanes. Now, Dave Soren, back from an operation. He was on hiatus for a few months, but look at him. He's back. Here comes Dave. Oh, going a little high. He's got a shake and four pin. Can't knock it down. So, four of the six bowlers in the first frame struck. Dave shot 7.04 at 1 o'clock to advance. And here's Dave making the spare. So we have six marks from six bowlers. Way to go. All right, Tony Jimenez now starting his second frame. Tony looking good here. Come on, Tony. Oh, leaving just a little weak 10 pin. 
Tony throwing a good shot. Normally bowls with his son Adam, to Rossi, but Adam had a few things to do today with his wife. All right, here comes Juan. Juan got off to a great start with a strike in frame number one. His ball is pulled a little, and he leaves the 6-10. Juan Ayello has been a member since 2015. He shot 772 at 3 o'clock to make the finals. Right, here comes Tone, looking for that 10 but No, and he holds on. Way to go, Tone. Tony pulled the first squad and did not do well. Then he changed equipment, lined up in a different spot, and wound up leading his squad with the high shot series of the day with an 813 coming from a senior. Here comes Juan. And he makes that spare perfectly. Way to go, Juan. So Juan, after a strike in frame one, comes back with a spare in the second frame. All right, Archie Navis. He's representing the 49 and under division, so there's three from each division. Archie playing deep inside. And he gets the seven pin down for the big double. Way to go, Arch. All right, Pharaoh. Oh, came in a little light, leaving the 10, so he cannot double. Special thanks to Mike Siragano and his fine staff here at Corn Country Lanes. Mike does a great job as the tournament host, and we look forward to coming back here again in March for another house shot tournament. All right, here comes Farrell. This one going a little wide. Oh, and Farrell, first open of the match. Yeah. And that is not, that yeah. is unlike Farrell McNeil. Farrell McNeil is a very accomplished bowler. He has one title with the LIGBT from East Meadow. He shot 7.66, 7.66 today at three o'clock to advance. All right, Dave Song. Dave on a spare. Ripping the rack. Oh, David leaves the four five seven. David sometimes throws a backup ball, so I'm surprised he's spinning the ball this way. But I guess on a house shot, it's more conducive to scoring. All right, here comes Tommy. Ten in the pit for a double. Way to go. Now, Tommy, again, is giving everybody pins. He's only getting 22 pins. Next up, 10 less, and David gets two out of the three, so he's got his first open. So let's go over the handicap again. Tommy Grunwald getting the least, 22. 10 more is Archie Navis, 32. Four more than Archie at 36 is Phil McNeil. Next up is Juan Ayala with 47, and then 53. So between the low and the high, 31 pin stiffness, though. Not a lot. All right, here comes Tony. Ten in the pit. Tony says, I'm back. Way to go, Tone. So that's his first strike of the match. <laughs> He's loosened up now, ready to throw a few more. Eddie Citron in the back taking notes there. He's figuring out how to play the lanes for the next time we come here. All right, Juan Ayala looking for the strike, and he gets 10 in the pit. Way to go, Juan. So that's his third frame, and he's got a strike. He's hit both times strikes on the right lane. All right, Archie Nabis. Archie, 47 years young. He's just a few years away from getting into the senior division. He's got two titles, looking for number three. All right, here comes Arch, going high, leaving this 4-7. Archie's been a member since 2015. He's 47 years old. 
Bulls at it, Jib Lanes, and he is a construction manager. Here comes Farrell. Ten in the pit. Way to go, Farrell. He recoups from an open frame in the previous lane. And frame number two, that one. So he's got a strike, an open and a strike. All right, let's see if Arch can make this 4 7. Arch, very good roller. Oh, no! And the groan from the big crowd in the back as he chops the four off the seven. So after a double, he now has an open frame. So three out of the six bowlers already have an open frame through the third frame. All right, Dave Soren. I got that text too. Yeah. All right, here comes David. David trying to get his first strike. Going Jersey! Oh, he leaves the 10 pin. All right, Tommy Grunwell looking for his third consecutive strike. <coughs> Tommy's been a member since 2016. He both had a white stone. Oh, a ringing 10 pin. Tommy throwing the ball great, but cannot carry. There's the backup ball we all look for, David. Making that spare. By the way, it took seven minutes, seven minutes, nine seconds for the ball to get from the hand to the pin. We're back from commercial. Tommy all over that 10 pin. Tommy looking really good out there. His buddy James Russo, I don't know why he's rooting him on, but it was his ride today. They all came together. James nursing an injury. Where's Joe? Yeah, gee, that's a surprise. Joe sleeping one off tonight. All right, come on, on one. Oh, nine in the pit, and an eight pin is stuck there. All right, here comes Tony, looking for the double. Come on, Tony. Oh, a ringing 10 pin. Tony trying to show Tommy Grunwell I'm as good as you. Wow, some tough, tough leaves just now. A stone 8 pin and a stone 10 pin. Very tough. Let's see, both can come around and make the spare. Well, looks like Juan is perfect, so he makes the spare. So Juan at a Dutch 200 has struck both times on the right, spare both times on the left. All right, let's see. Tony can get this 10 pin. Looks pretty good here. Tony, all over that 10 pin. That's a pro for you. <laughs> Tony, one of the nicest guys around. Everybody loves bowling with him. Been a member since 2015. Bowls out of AMF Babylon. And he's a retired gentleman. Ten in the pit for Pharaoh McNeil. That is a double. Coming back, coming back. So Farrell trying to say, I screwed up on that open, but I can still bowl. All right, Archie here in frame number four. Archie, the only lefty. Shot 790 to make it to the finals at one o'clock. Archie really knows how to play these lanes. This ball looks good. Ten in the pit. Way to go, Arch. So Archie also striking three out of the four times so far, but with an open, so him and Farrell going neck and neck. Tommy Grunwall giving everybody pins, but he started with a double, left a ring in 10. Let's see if he can come back with a strike. This ball looks really good. 10 in the pit. Way to go, Tommy. So Tommy throwing a ball great. All right, Dave Soren finishing up frame number four. Dave pulls out of Rockville, center lanes. Oh, Dave rips the rack, leaving a blowout 7-10. He is not happy. Dave's been a member since 2009. Nine years, one title, East Isle Plains. He's a property manager. Dave a little frustrated here. Gets the wood. Three minutes and seven seconds later. <laughs> All right, now we are entering frame number five. All 
All right, Tony Jimenez looking good. Tony can't get that 10 pin down. That's two in a row for him. And three out of the last four frames have been 10 pins. So his ball must be breaking just a tad late. All right, one eye yellow. That's right. All right, Juan coming across the ball that time. Doesn't like, gets away with a 6'10 only. He was afraid to look. All right, let's see if Tony can get this fair. Should be no problem. He's already made the two of them. Very well done. So Tony, three for three on the 10 pins today. Been lucky. All right, one eye yellow in his fifth frame, looking for a spare. He's clean so far, hasn't had an open. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. He chops the six off the 10. Wow, one eye yellow. And Tiensis is mad at me. <laughs> Tiensis is one sidekick. They just had a beautiful baby girl about a year ago. So it's great to see them when they come with their buddy Ron Rodney. Rodney Williams. All right, Archie. Archie on a strike. Can he get the double? Coming a little. Oh, that is ugly. But he's going to take it. On a sport shot, I'd say great shot. On a house shot, it's ugly. All right, Farrell McNeil now. Farrell on a double. Can we get our first triple of the match? This is going high. And he leaves the 3 6. So we cannot get a triple yet. And on a house shot, there should be a few by now. All right, here comes Dave. All right, this ball looks a little high. Ten in the pit! David saying, screw you, 710. <laughs> That's right. He was upset over that last pinfall. And here comes Farrell. And he makes the spare. Nicely done, Farrell. <clears throat> All right, here comes Tommy Grunwald. He's finishing up the fifth frame. He's off a strike, looking for the double. Tommy, throwing the ball perfect. Rip in the rack, that seven pin goes! All right. All right, there should be, all right, there should be a delay in penalty for that. You got it, thank you. All right, that, that seven pin came so late, the scoring didn't even get it. All right, here comes Juan, looking good here. Ten in the pit! Juan throwing the ball, fantastic. All right, let's take a look at some scores here. You can see Tony Jimenez, 134, all marks. Under him is Archie Navis, 118 with a double. Tony, you're wrong lane. Oops. Tony going on the wrong lane. Then Dave Soren, you see he's on a strike, 116. And then Juan Aiello, he's already thrown a strike in frame number six, 144. Farrell McNeil on a spare, 122. Last but not least, Tommy Grunwald, 121 on a double. And Tony going a little high. Leaving a six paint, got a break. All right, Farrell McNeil <coughs> on a spare. This is frame number six for Farrell. <coughs> and he gets the strike. Way to go, Farrell. We've got a pretty tight match here, halfway through. Tony, making that six pin. Way to go. This is 
This is what I was looking for. <laughs> All right, LIGBT back in action with the Sports Shot Tournament next Sunday, October 7th. We're Omar to AMF Wantor. Then we come back with the House Shot Tournament in Queens for the start of the Queens House Shot Tour. That's at Astoria Bowl, Sunday, October 14th. So, AMF Wantor next Sunday. Two Sundays away is another House Shot Tournament at AMF, uh, excuse me, at Astoria Bowl. Hope you can make either one or both. Here comes Archie going a little wide, but he rips the rack for the first triple of the match. See it, Archie. All right, Tommy Grunwald could match his triple. With a strike here, he's on a double. Big shot here. Tommy goes a little wider. And that's exactly what I thought he'd be. He went a little wide on the shot. So he leaves another tin pin on the right lane. Here comes David. David on a strike, looking for a double. All right. Rip in the rack. No 7-10 that time. There's the double. Way to go, David. David, amazingly, had surgery over the summer and is back with vengeance. And Tommy all over that 10-pin. Way to go, Tommy. Hey, Tommy, you can make my 10-pin. <laughs> now better. <laughs> right now, it looks like Archie Navis has got the lead. So Archie, after six frames, has got a few pin lead. Here comes Juan. Juan, oh, leaves the four pin, came a little high. Juan, he's been a member since 2015, both right here at a quorum. And he is a plumber by trade. Here comes Tony, frame number seven. This one went way wide. And he gets a two pin. And I. Yeah, that was definitely way outside. So I think he's happy with the two pin. <laughs> All right, here comes Juan looking for his spare. Nice cover. All right, Tony, here we go. Remember, thousands first up on top, 500 second, 300 third, 250 is fourth. And Tony makes the spare, way to go. Nice spare game, though. All right, Farrell McNeil. A strike will put him right up towards the top, right next to Archie. Let's see if he can come through. Ball looks good. Trip in the four, he gets it. Way to go, Farrell, for a double. That's Farrell's second double. All right, Archie leading. Let's see if he uh, expands that lead in frame number seven. He's on a triple, looking for a four bagger. The LIGBT recently changed its house shot rules where everybody now has its own house shot average. So whenever you bowl, your average goes up and down. Here comes Archie, ripping it back, and he gets it again. So Archie, playing all sorts of lines, right now has got the lead looking for title number three. <laughs> All right, Tommy Grunwall. Uh, that's a good shot. Oh, Tommy giving that seven pin a dirty look. Little mad that it delayed the fall, but he looks there good on that strike. Way to go, Tommy. All right, Dave Soren looking for a triple here. So the LIGBT bowlers that bowl in both sports shots and house shot averages now have two separate averages based on the games they bowl in each type of lane pattern, making it much fairer for everybody in the house shot tournaments. Here comes David looking good! Ten in the pit! He thinks this is Bob Steppy's tournament! Way to go! Give me that, give me that. By the way, a special congratulations to Max Thomas who won the Great American Senior Tournament a couple weeks ago. 
Oh, did he? All right, Tony, come on, Tony, coming up. Going a little light, leaving the two, four, five. Tony. Hmm? Ah, he's good. All right, one a yellow. This is his eighth frame now, as is Tony's. One. But one well, needs a strike. Ten in the pit. You ask, you shall receive. Way to go, Juan. All right, Tony. Making the stand here. Well done, Tony. Not an easy conversion. Two, four, five is done. All right. Farrell McNeil trying to show Archie Nabis he is not going to be pushed around. He's on a double. He's 16 pins behind Archie. Goes high, leaves a six. He was he was hoping that ball would hold, but been a lot of games bowled on this shot today, so it's sure breaking down, and the hold area is. Not as pronounced as it was earlier earlier today. Feral all over that six. Well done. So that's Feral finishing up his eighth frame. He has Archie. This will expand his lead tremendously. He's 12 pins up on Dave Sorin right now. Dave's in second. Feral now in third. Archie looking to expand his lead. This is coming in too late. Oh, we did it again! The ball looks like it's not going to make it, and then it snaps to rip the rack. So let's see if Dave can stay within 12 pins. Tommy Grunwall. Well, Soren's only 12 if he strikes. Tommy doubles here. He'll be within 17 pins of Archie. Ten in the pit. A great shot at a very key moment for Tommy Grunwall. All right, Dave Sorin. Big shot here. If he strikes here, he stays within 12 pins of the leader, Archie Navis. Tommy Grunwald not far behind. It would be a great, oh no, he didn't like this shot. This one is ugly. He hits the head pin though, leaves the double wood. All right, ninth frame, foundation frame. Tony, working off the spare. That's a great shot. Oh. Tony threw it too well, leaving a stone nine pin. That five just chopped off the nine. Bad break for Tony. And David going for the backup spare, and he makes it. It showed you the versatility Dave Soren has. I'm not sure it's the versatility or the lack of ability. We haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> All right, Tony Jimenez, got to be fuming right now. He has bowled a great, clean game, but only one strike and on a house shot, that's not going to get it done. Making his ninth mark at nine frames, well done. All right, Juan Aiello, looking for his first LIGBT title. Juan just can, needs this double here if he can still go out for 274 with his handicap. Big shot here. Oh, a good shot. Just cannot carry the 10 pin. And the pressure's starting to mount as the $1,000 top rides. He's getting closer to several of these bowlers' grass. Let's see who will survive the last two frames. If 
Archie strikes here, he'll force everybody to, uh, at least the uh, Ferrell and Dave Soren, to double to his open to win. He bounces the ball this time. Uh, ripping the rack. This time he doesn't carry. He thought he was playing basketball, but he didn't get it. <laughs> Archie's saying his thumb got a little loose, so this match is still wide open, folks. So if Farrell strikes in the ninth, and Tommy strikes, and Soren strikes, we could have anybody win this. Oh, and Juan Aiello, unfortunately, misses his 10th in, so he has his an open, second open frame. Big spare for Archie. He's already had one open frame already, but that was a chop. He should convert this one. It is dead silent in here right now. And it's all over that spare. Well done, Archie. All right, Farrell McNeil. Double here is so good. The strike here, excuse me, is P. Here he comes. He likes it. Oh, it did not finish hard enough. He leaves the two eight. Double with 2 8, so that is gonna basically put a dagger in Ferrell's title hopes. And now it's between Tommy, Dave, and Archie. Down to three. Ninth frame. Dave Surin needs a strike to control his destiny. This ball's got a chance. May go a little high. No, it holds. Dead in the pit. A big shot. And we are in for the final frame here to see who wins the LIGBT House Shot Tournament here. Good spare by Farrell. All right, first Tommy Grunwell will finish up the ninth frame. We'll take a quick look at the scores and let you enjoy the final frame here. Tommy throwing the ball great. He's been in the pocket on every shot. He's left two 10 pins so far. Big one here. Here he comes. Oh, and he leaves his third 10 pin. He cannot carry that ball. Now, and he is upset. All right, here we go into the 10 frame. You can see the scores. It is a tight one, folks. It is a tight one. All right, back to the action. One eye yellow. For one in the 10 frame. Tommy needs this spare. If Tommy spares here, he's, I believe he is tied now with Archie. No, I take that back. He's still 18 pins behind Archie. But he is five pins ahead of Dave, but Dave has the strike, the only strike. Hmm? That's soaring. Oh, Juan leaving the four, six, seven. But that's on his fill ball, so that's not so bad. Tony throws ten in the pit. Tony, that's only a second strike of a match. He could still go out for 258. Well done for Tony. Juan finishes up with two, so he finishes up with 174 scratch, 221 with his handicap. All right, Tony looking for a double. Every pin is worth more money for him. This one goes way wide. This is the head pin leaving the one, two, four. All right, Farrell, big shot here. 10 in the pit. Way to go, Farrell. Farrell can go out for 259 with his handicap. Hmm? He's already in, so he can only go for 249. Oh. 
Staying corrected. The scoring system is a little different here. It's 249 he can go out for. Tony looking for the spare. Well done. Tony throws a clean game. 192 scratch, 238 with his handicap. Well done, Tony. Farrell looking good here. Oh, he knew he was a little high. Tugged it just a bit, leaving the four pin. Yeah. All right. Archie Navis is going to come up in the 10th frame, needing a mark to win. And Farrell makes the spare, shooting a 203 scratch. Two. 39 with his handicap. Well done. So he beats Tony by one stick. One <laughs> stick, so. More than that. 150, 200, yeah, 250. All right, needs a mark for the win. Needs a mark for the win. Archie. This bowl looks pretty good. And he gets it, and we've got a champion. Archie Navis. Bowling fantastic. He had the only four-timer today here in the final shootout. He did have an open frame. Only left the in the final shootout, so that might have helped him. Keep the shot a little bit more consistent, but a well-deserved victory for Archie. This is his third LIGBT title over the last three years. Ten in the pit, like a champion, Archie. I'll talk to you during the week.